Welcome to Love and Forever Evolving, where we are always and forever evolving. Hello, Virgos. Welcome back, my loves. Welcome to your love reading here for the month of February. We're going to check in back here another three days. <clears throat> Welcome back to the ones that um, or are my evolving spirits, the ones that's been here. Thank you, my love, always for your love and support, evolving spirits. All right. We're back here again to check in another three days to see what message your spirit, your angels, your ancestors have for you. All right. And then definitely stick around, Virgos. We're going to pull out the love romance angel deck here to see how your person is feeling towards you and how this connection is going and what's needed to be said here as well so we're definitely going to pull a couple of tarot decks as well to get further clarification as well my loves okay <clears throat> excuse me now the readings here as well may resonate for sun moon rising venus north and south node placements okay and cross watchers welcome back my loves you are welcome here as well all right so again, my loves, we're going to check in first with your higher self, see what spirit, your angels, your ancestors, how for you, as always. And then we're going to shift the energies and see how your person is feeling towards you with the love romance angel deck. And we're going to get a couple of cards, a couple of tarot cards from other traditional decks here to clarify as well the connection. All right, so let's see her source angels, ancestors, protect my space for Virgo placements here. Allow me to channel the messages for the God and goddesses, for the divine mass and the divine feminine. What do their higher self need to know here the next three days? Definitely again, if you're new here, my loves, make sure to also select the notification bell and click all. So that way you're notified as well. Not only when I post your reading every three days, Virgo, but also when I go live. I do go live most nights, not all nights of the week. So that way, if you have any love questions, you can purchase any love questions for only $5.55. And if you would like a full spread like we're going to do here today for your reading, it's only $15.55 only when I'm doing live readings, okay? <clears throat> However, Virgos, if you would like to get a more private reading, I do now offer email readings as well where you can ask one question for only $25, all right? And that gives you a full image as well of your spread along with a full detail email reading in regards to your situation or question of concern okay so definitely look down in the description box become a member of the soul tribe here as well you do get discounts for your personal readings and your live stream questions as well so definitely click that join membership tab virgos get the details there and definitely come join me live all right Let's move forward here. So let's see what finally came out. Ooh, friendship. Okay, so some of y'all are coming into some type of partnership, some type of ship. You're jumping on and getting on some type of ship. You're getting on that boat. All right, some of y'all have manifested. This is that three of wands energy here as well. You know, waiting on your ships to dock, waiting on your ships to come in. This is the energy that I'm feeling. <clears throat> Excuse me, Virgos. I've been outside playing in the snow for the last three days, literally, with my family. And I was the biggest kid on the block, okay? So I've been doing a lot of yelling, things of that sort. So excuse me in advance if I do a lot of coughing or clearing my throat, my throat chakra, in the middle of your reading, Virgos. My apologies, okay? So, wow. In regards to your higher self, your angels, and your ancestors, they want you to be informed of receiving a friendship that is in the horizons here okay but before that happens or here within the next three days virgo okay spirit says i understand that a friend in my life for a reason wow that's significant again so spirit wants you to know virgos that there is someone that is around you right now and it's a reason that they're there Rather, if it's to teach you a lesson or teach you something about life or teach you something overall about the situation, the circumstance that you may be currently in and the way you're feeling, the way you're feeling. All right. But your angels, your ancestors want you to understand that a friend is in your life for a reason. 
Everything happens for a reason. As I always say, there is no accidents. There is no coincidences. So wherever you're at right now, Virgos, whatever you're experiencing, it is meant to happen. Right? So be in the present. Be aware of this friendship for some of you all that's currently already experiencing it with this person. Or needing to be more appreciative, showing more gratitude for some of you all. All right, but there is a particular reason, again, <clears throat> why you are called to this friendship with this person. Wow, and then look here. Let your friends help you. So some of y'all, this is a friend that's very significant. Some of y'all, okay, because I understand we just went through Venus retrograde and Mercury retrograde. Now, in regards to communicating with friends, loved ones, friendships from our past. So for some of you all, this may be very significant however but some of y'all may be getting a message from a long time friend someone that you consider always still as a friend in your life or even if this is like a best friend a friend and you and you became you two became lovers all right however it resonates for you okay there is in regards to some type of partnership some type of connection here thank you spirit that you two have shared together who we know it could be in another life, another past life. It could be in your childhood, during your childhood time. And you two, you know, may have moved away from each other growing up. And you never got to connect with this person. Or, you know, just see how it would have went in regards to friends or having a friendship together, right? Wow, beautiful. So thank you, angels and ancestors. Those are messages, again, from your higher self and your angels and ancestors. And pulling the love romance angel deck here. Now we have let your friends help, okay? So some of y'all, don't be afraid to ask for help, Virgos. It's okay. I feel you have people around you, family, friends, and loved ones that is willing to help, all right? So let's see here, source. What do we have? Let's see how your person now, Virgos, is feeling. Whoa, whoa, that was quick. Thank you, Spirit. We have a couple cards come out here for you, Virgo. Oh, oh my goodness. So cute and sweet. I love you. All right. This person is going to be confessing to you that they love you. They're going to be expressing to you how they feel. And again, some of y'all, this person that you became friends with, and some of y'all have now become lovers with this person. And this person is very much expressing themselves to you. Or they could be now realizing that they truly love you. All right, Virgos. And then we have, you were the best thing in my life. Wow. I am not making this up, Virgo. I don't know what you're doing to him because I'm not the fly on the wall. But whatever you're doing, you keep doing it, Virgo. Because now they're being able to, I'm hearing, realize. So now they've been able to realize situations or realize this circumstance that happened between you two. Or just realize overall how they feel towards you with the card i love you here virgos wow and then last card we have that jumped out i can't stop thinking about you wow i'm not making this up virgos this is definitely truly how this person is feeling towards you i feel like they think about you non-stop here because we have a lot of energy of loving thinking fantasizing thank you spirit okay and this person is definitely very attractive to you virgos the vice versa <clears throat> Virgos, you are attracted to this person, okay? We're all on different timelines and we all grown, okay? We all know our size shoe over here, okay? So definitely if it fits and it's resonating for you, again, definitely hit that like button, subscribe again if you're new here, all right? And again, if it don't, then it's okay. Hit that notification bell and come back in three days. We'll see where the energies progress because I am definitely excited to see where this energy goes, okay? There's a lot of feelings, emotions, that are involved here and the feelings is very deep towards each other. This is a very strong career, uh, excuse me. This is a very strong spiritual connection. It's also what I'm feeling this person is coming to. I'm hearing realization. Wow. <clears throat> so your person is realizing that this is not only just like a normal 3D type of relationship, Virgo. This is a whole 5D love tapped into frequency type of relationship. Or friendship <clears throat> because excuse me again for clearing my throat okay but however this is a situation where I feel like for some of y'all it may start it out you two may have been friends for quite some while or quite some time and you two finally decide to give it a shot 
and started dating each other, okay? You realize that your feelings that you had between each other became out more than just friends, okay? And this is why this person is now falling in love with you for some of you all, and they cannot stop thinking about you. Wow, let's see. What do we have here? Keep my mouth covered in the bed. Oh, my goodness, Virgos. Now, look here now. I knew I felt some type of sexual energy here in my aura, but I didn't want to say anything. But that confirms it to me. That's what I was feeling here energetically, okay? So, again, this person is doing a lot of thinking, a lot of fantasizing about you, okay? We got, I cannot stop thinking about you. You are the best thing in my life. I love you. Keep your mouth covered while we're in bed, damn it. Okay, Virgos? Even if this person, you have met this person or not, this is what this person is doing. This is what this person is thinking about when it comes to you and they're fantasizing in their dreams, okay? For some of y'all, and some of y'all who are already engaged with this person, they can't get enough of it. They want some more. I'm just saying, last card here. What do you do to me? Yes, I'm not making this up. Nor am I pulling this out of my ass, Virgos. This person is like, damn, Virgo. What are you doing to me over there? Why do you got me feeling like this? How do you got me feeling like this, Virgos? Damn. Shit, I'm trying to ask the same questions, okay? So, wow, your person's trying to ask the same questions. They're trying to figure the same thing out. I feel like this person's really trying to figure out how did they have these feelings towards you or how did they even start. That's what I'm getting here. Wow. Oh my goodness, Virgo. So now let's finally pull out the tarot deck here to give further details and clarifications for you. <clears throat> I am definitely eager to see where the energy here go within the next three days. Oh my goodness. Let's now pull out the tarot deck. Let's see what the modern witch's tarot deck has to say in regards to a connection here, Virgo. Let's see what's going on. Ooh. Let's see. I'm getting that song. I'm so excited. I just can't hide it. Wow. That's the song that's playing. So this person is very excited when they think about you. They're very excited when they, you know, hear your name, I feel. That's that type of energy. Like, they just get so excited and jittery there. Oh, it's so sweet. It's a sweet energy. You have an energy that I'm tapping into, Virgo. Source, angels, ancestors. What do we have here for Virgos? Sun, moon, rising, Venus, north, and south. No, tell me what's going on with their person. Wow, we have the tower card jumped out here. Some of you are this person may actually be a Scorpio, Virgos, okay? And others here, this is something that's going to be very unexpectedly for you. This is something that you didn't have your hands on. This was illustrated through the divine on how this happened. I'm getting here and in regards to, for some of y'all, just simply because they sit here and tell you that they love you. And if they want to be with you and that may shock you. You may hear this from this person unexpectedly of how they feel towards you. Because, again, they're about to pop like a balloon. They can't they can't stop thinking about you. So I feel like that's what that tower moment is going to be about as well. Of them expressing themselves and how they feel towards this relationship. Wow, we have the Seven of Swords come out here. Now, this is air energy, Capricorn. I'm sorry. Ooh, Capricorn. Well, 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 Capricorn. Some of you all may be a Capricorn cross watchers. You may be a Capricorn listening in for a Virgo. I know who reading I'm doing here. So some of you all, this person that may be very significant. This person here may be a Scorpio or again, a Capricorn. Because they definitely wanted to channel out as loud as day. You and I heard that Virgos. Okay. Now, however, here again, this however is, as I wanted to say, Aquarius, Gemini or Libra energy out here as well. Now, we know the Seven of Swords is all about, you know, doing things behind your back, right, Virgos? Being disrespectful, lying, not being honest, <clears throat> right? Doing things and making decisions from their lower selves instead of their higher selves, all right? Not being tapped into their intuition here. So they could have done things behind your back. I mean, we're going to say it for what it is. We ain't going to sugarcoat shit over here, Virgos, okay? But this is a situation here that... Yes, this person loves you, I feel. Yes, this person, you know, without a doubt, see you as the best thing in their life. And I feel like it took you two had to separate, unfortunately, here for this person to realize that. And this is what has been also, I feel like, the tower moment in your person's life. Because some of y'all, you could have removed yourself from this person's energy. 
You could have blocked this person. This person has found out. All right, and they're not happy here with the tower card, okay? For some of you all I'm getting. Yeah, look, because we have the three of swords here. I'm not making this up. All right, again, this is heavy, strong air energy. Some of you all are definitely coming down below. If this person has air placements in their chart as a Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra here, okay? Well, for some of y'all, this could be in reference to a third part. I'm just going to say it for what I'm feeling here. All right, and others of you, this person could have stabbed you in your back, betrayed you over three times here with these three different swords, okay? So again, we're all grown here, Virgos. We all know our size shoe. And if it fits again, wear it. That's great. Let's learn from it. Let's rebuild. Let's love each other. All right, know that this decision here that you're making it's going to allow you to become a better version of yourself, Virgos, okay? Relationships are here to help us learn who we are. That's all they're for. And you are here to have a human being experience and learn yourself, learn a reflection of who you are through others. Because they're going to tell you, whether if you want to hear it or not, Virgos, they're going to tell you who you are, okay? And I feel like you're learning this through others, through friendships, okay? Through relationships, Okay, and this is a situation here where, again, this person hurt you. They caused you a lot of pain. Okay, I'm hearing grief, sorrow, and disres or disrespect. Okay, well, I mean, you got the seven of swords out here, so somebody was disrespecting somebody. I'm getting a lot of messages for you, Virgos. Wow. Let's get one more card here to finish up your reading. What can Vir Virgos spirit take away from this reading here today? Ooh, let's see. <clears throat> Ooh, excuse me. Wow, we have the Four of Swords, Virgo. Spirit is wanting you to simply rest. Get some sleep, right? We know healing is for the soul and when it comes to taking naps, okay? So how she's leaned over on this bed, I feel like you guys are needing to rest. Get some sleep whenever you can, okay? Sleeping is healing and healing is sleeping. I feel like some of y'all, your ancestors is asking you to sit down, take a break. I know how you Virgos are. You will work all damn day. Sometimes you got to work on yourself, get back to yourself, and heal yourself. Because again, we didn't have the Three of Swords come out here for nothing, okay? Even though you two, is is no goal figure that you two love each other, without a doubt. But however, things were done, lines were crossed here, and this person is realizing again what they have done to you. All right, and because of this, this situation here, I feel well, I, while you're having this tower card and also what causes separation here from the first place I'm getting here is simply because someone was not being honest in this situation. And now this person is like, damn, whatever this person has done, yes, I made this mistake. I'm going to become a better version of myself as they're having this conversation to you. And this is where that tower mom is going to hear. You're going to be like, what? What, Virgo? What? I feel like that's how you guys are going to be. What's at the bottom of the deck here? Yeah. I'm not making this up. This person wants to take a leap of faith with you. They want to jump off this cliff. They want to start over at the number zero here. We have all this yellow in the background, okay? Some of y'all, this person could be an Aries here, literally here. All right, Virgos. But however, this person is definitely ready to move forward. All right? They want to start all over again, fresh. Okay? So again, it's up to you. Everyone has their free will. But again, this person wants to start all over with you. They know they hurt you. They know they betray you for some of you all, okay? And I get that. Because when a person betray you, you know, there's no going back, right? You know, you can't even think to see, look, or feel in regards to a person when they do you in that type of order, right? Some can, some can't. It's different for everyone. It just depends on the situation, right? But we definitely have to make sure to forgive ourselves and forgive others as well. So that way you don't block out any blessings or any love offers yourself, okay? So again, Virgos, make sure, please, that you're getting plenty of help. Plenty of help and taking care of your health, okay? Because I always say here on this channel, your health is your wealth. If you're not taking care of your health, you will not be able to enjoy your wealth, okay? So take care of yourself. Take care, I want to say, take care of your heart. Literally, for some of y'all, because it may have been broken. And for some of y'all, it may is still broken. Everyone is on different timelines. In order to do that, you need to heal, sleep, get some rest, okay? 
Allow that mind of yours to get a rest. I know you guys are very smart, intelligent beings and critical thinkers. Sometimes you have to rest that brain, rest those thoughts that you over there commun um, communicating. Thank you, Spirit. I want to say communicating. So whatever it is that you're communicating, give it a rest. All right? Wow, Virgos, this has completed your reading. Beautiful. I'm speechless. This has completed your reading here for the next three days. Definitely, my loves, click on that notification bell so that way you as well can be notified when your reading comes out. Again, if you would like to purchase a private reading through email, that information is down below in the description box. All right. I love you so much, Virgos, and you take care of yourself. Take care of your health. Heal, okay? Heal your wounds. All right, so you don't block out any love offers that's coming towards you in the future. I love you, Virgos. Bye-bye.